we want to bring you up to speed on the search for baby LaVon in Utica, New York. Remember, his father waited two weeks to report the nine-month-old baby missing. Javon Wameling says he locked himself out of the house, so he left baby LaVon in a carrier on the front porch, covered it with a blanket. He says he climbed a tree in the backyard and pulled himself through a second-floor window to unlock the front door. When he got back to the porch, he says his baby was gone. LaVon's mother was apparently in rehab when he went missing. His father claims he couldn't find the words to tell her what happened. He said this, I felt like I had a rock in my throat. How do you say to his mother, I lost our son? He says he spent the next two weeks searching for LaVon on his own, and he finally realized he had to call police. Sergeant Steve Hawk from the Utica Police Department joins me now on the phone. Steve, great to talk to you. Any new leads regarding where this baby may be? No, we've been searching uh, that uh, target area since uh, the day he reported it. Uh, we haven't come up with anything. Uh, we've been on the ground every day with dogs and uh, dozens of people and still no luck. Sergeant, do you believe um, LaVon's father's story? Is he a person of interest? It's difficult to sit here and, and tell someone that they're lying without proof uh, that they're not. However, uh, you have to look at what's reasonable. And I find it very difficult to believe that someone would uh, find their child missing and then for two weeks not contact the police under any circumstances. So uh, to look at him and not look uh, at least suspiciously, uh, you know, we're always going to do that in those types of situations. Yeah, I know that the family is always the first to be investigated. What about LaVon's mother? Has she cooperated with his investigation? I understand she was in rehab at the time of the baby's disappearance. She was, and she has been cooperative. Uh, so most of the information that she's able to give to us is the information she received from him. She spoke with him several times when she was in the treatment facility, and the whole while he was telling her that everything was fine and that the child was fine. So uh, her information, obviously, uh, she's cooperative, but it's, it's not very good information. So what do you do when you hear a story like this from the father? Do you keep him in your sights? Is he allowed to leave town? There's no restrictions on him. He hasn't been charged with any crime. So he's allowed to go uh, where he wants and, and do what he wants to do. Uh, you know, it's difficult for us because, uh, as you know, uh, that after that first night, he stopped uh, speaking with us and uh, wanted an attorney. So we haven't had a chance to really speak with him. And in any case, uh, any missing case, the most important thing is to speak to the person that last saw the missing mm -hmm. person. Uh, in this case, is his father.